Welcome to Every Day with Jesus for September 14th. You ready? Living for the Lord. Psalm 23, verse 6. Oh, don't you just love Psalm 23? You know it. Let's say it together. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lay down in green pastures. He guides me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for He is with me. His rod and His staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Living for the Lord When Hester Ford passed away on April 17, 2021, she left a legacy of 12 children, 68 grandchildren, 125 great-grandchildren, and at least 120 great-great-grandchildren. That's a family of 325 people. She was born on a farm in Lancaster County, South Carolina, either in 1904 or 05. The records are unclear. And she lived to the age of 115 or 116. At the time of her death, she was the oldest living American. Wow, isn't that exciting? Her secret, in her words, living for the Lord. She believed in memorizing scripture, and even after she developed dementia, she could still recite her Bible verses perfectly. I believe that. Her favorite passage was Psalm 23. Near the end of her life, she told her children she was ready to go home to be with Jesus. Few of us will live to be 115 or 116, but those who live for the Lord and hide His word in their heart will have the joy of anticipating the day when they will be at home with Jesus. The secret to a well-regulated life is maintaining a day-by-day walk with our Savior, Sustainer, and Shepherd. His goodness and mercy will bless our lives here on earth, and we will dwell with Him forever. And that is true. You know, they say the secret here um, is a day-by-day walk with our Savior, Sustainer, and Shepherd. And it is, you know, so important. Um, That's why I'm making these videos, and I hope it's encouraging you to have your own quiet time and maybe dig a little deeper, because every day we need to be filled up. And I'm going to share with you a couple notes in my Bible um, from Psalm 23. So the first thing I have written down is where it talks about how He leads me beside quiet waters. I have, you don't need to know where you are going if God is leading. And isn't that true? If we're following the shepherd who loves us, it doesn't really matter where we're going as long as we're following him. He has our best interest in mind. The other note I have here deals with the rod because it says your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And it says the shepherd carries the rod on his shoulders during the day so the sheep can see it and taps it as he walks along by night or in fog so they can hear it. So I need to look and listen to God's rod. Isn't that interesting? I really like that about the rod. You know, there's so much written in the Bible that's just so cultural for back then that we know nothing about right now, but I love that about the shepherd's rod. You can order your own copy of the Every Day with Jesus devotional book by going to davidjeremiah.org or by calling Turning Point at 877-998-0200. 22. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.